So as you notice, I got the fuel tank and side panels off the GPX TSC 250R. Here's some close-ups. So you got an overflow bottle that's hidden behind the tank. Obviously no liquid in it. I'm gonna have to fill it up. You got the servo mo motor for the power valve. I'm not even gonna mess with that at this point in time. And then you got this where the, the oil injection would have been. I already moved the clamp down and it just popped, popped right off. And a little bit of oily residue on the end of that. Do they pre-run these bikes to make sure they work? Maybe they do, I don't know. But there's a, a little, they might, they might run these motors actually. I would think they would. And so thinking the best way, I don't know why. That, obviously that blocks a huge area there. I mean, I don't want to ride around with it up here. So either I, I cut that off, plastic weld that in, and just make a plug essentially. Or first I'll see if I have anything and I'll just throw this in the box of spare parts. I put on my K&N fuel filter. As you see, that's how big they are. So a lot better than that huge thing they have there that is antiquated. And we'll assume the spark plug is okay for now, which I would probably change that out to name brand. And, you know, after I get some rides on it, change it out. It's easy to get the tank off, literally take the shrouds off. And it just sits on with one eight mil bolt onto this cushion thing. You just pull the tank right off. And obviously lines get disconnected. Well, mainly because the bike's new, but disconnect your line from the petcock. And there you have it. And let's take a look at the other side. Cause there's something of interest over here. You got the fan spark plug, you got your radiator hose, you got something that it looks like a thermostat, but there's a blade connector, but no, no, I saw no, no blade connectors that were that big, so I don't know. Everything else looks like it's plugged in, so maybe when they did revisions that's not being used, or maybe it can be used, I don't know. So let me know if you, if you know. <laughs> And what else is there? Regular rectifiers right here mounted. Which, it's huge. It's a huge regular rectifier. Change that out with a Trail Tech one and not take up so much room. But for now, we'll use it. And here's the front of the radiators. So shrouds hook with a bolt here, a bolt there. Uh, I believe just one on top in a sliding clamp spot. You know, you, you slide the plastic on. So if you're trying to pull, don't pull hard. I was like, what's getting caught? And then I noticed, oh, it's the same as like, you know, your seats have, they slide up in. Same with the plastic, it slides that way. So you have to go towards the back. I'll show you on the plastic. See, right there. So you got your front radiator spots there and then eight mil up on top. And then it looks like in the back, it just goes in like that into a slot. So pretty straightforward. Anyways, that's what the bike looks like with its fuel tank off. I'm debating whether to pull the carburetor like I said I would. I probably should just do it, huh? It doesn't look overly bad to, well, these wires are kind of in the way, but otherwise it doesn't look ho horrible. And I still need to check the air filter, which is here, which I have no idea how that comes off. So I'll have to figure that out too. <laughs> How does the cover for the filter come off? I would think it just snaps. Well, I'll have to figure it out. So anyways, that's what the bike looks like with its tank off. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and stay well, my friends.